So by now you have heard of Salman bin Laden has been killed. That's great. In fact, that's old news. So let's just move on to something more relevant like the economy. And let's bring it back to this Osama bin Laden issue. And let's talk about something really specific about this. How do people feel about uh, hashtag OBL being killed? More importantly, how do I feel about him being killed? Well, I see it from uh, two angles. And they merge and they meld and they weld together. Number one is how I see this as a Muslim. And number two is how I see this as an American. As a Muslim, I am relieved. And this is because Osama bin Laden was an enemy of Islam, especially the Islam that I believe in. And the kind of Muslim I am is that I'm a Muslim for peace. And one of the things that we believe is that terrorism, ha there's no place for terrorism in Islam. Look at this sign. There's no loophole in this sign. I mean, come on, seriously. And m many Muslims, if not most Muslims, believe that Islam is a peaceful religion. Osama bin Laden and his cronies were not those Muslims. As a result, they were enemies of Islam. In fact, uh, they even killed thousands of Muslims who would not uh, be agree with what they said or believe the way they did. So it's not, uh, it's not, it, we're not at a war with Islam, and I'm glad that um, President Barack Obama said that. Uh, it's, very, it's very comforting, uh, and uh, it's always nice to hear. I'm also glad that one of the biggest extremists, uh, well then again, I don't like calling him an extremist because that means that what he believed, well, there was some basis for it in Islam. But, you know, even though I know what people will say was his basis for killing innocent people, I don't agree with that. I don't think, uh, I think it's a long, long, it's a far shot. It's, it requires a lot of brainwashing to believe that and I'm, I'm just glad he's gone. You know, one of the most recognizable mullahs, one of the most extremist clerics, he's dead and gone. I hope other clerics don't follow suit by trying to emulate him or be better than him. I hope they understand that they need to back off. Alright, just, just back off. Which leads me to the, my second point. How do I feel about this as an American? I'm happy. I'm happy. Because this guy was one of the biggest enemies of my country. And he's dead. You know, he... he he attacked America countless amount of times and uh, killed a, a lot of people and he has paid the price of war, of waging war. So that's it, you know, but I'm not going to go out in the street and go like, yeah, we're number one, we're number one, because I just don't feel like celebrating a person's death like that. I kind of feel that's kind of like weird. It's like, it's like desecrating a body, you know, uh, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I hope that people realize uh, what has happened and what will continue to happen in the days to come as we move on and we are able to figure out what's going to happen next. And good things. I hope, I hope all good things, of course, of course. And that's how I feel about it as an American. And then earlier I said how I feel about this as a Muslim. And it all merges together. It all welds together. It all melds together. Uh, as a Muslim American, as a Muslim akin, that is how I feel. And I hope you have some commentary to provide below in the comments section. And I look forward to reading it and responding to it. And uh, uh, even if you're, if you're just trolling around, uh, I welcome you too. So, you know, look forward to hearing from you in there.